Hi everyone, this is a quick tutorial on using Deduce. Deduce is one of the qualitative coding softwares that I happen to really like. There are other qualitative coding softwares um, that other people like a lot. Um, so it's not the only one. Um, the, one of the things that's nice about Deduce is that you pay by the month that you use it. So if you're gonna do a lot of coding over the month or two, you just pay $15 or something like that for that month, for the next month, and then you don't have to pay anymore um, until you use it again. So it can kind of go to sleep or, or you can turn it off. Um, and it still saves all your data, which is really fabulous. Um, it's also based in the cloud, so it's accessible anywhere. Um, and um, I just like the interface. So I'm going to go over uh, a little bit how to create a project, add codes, and things like that. Um, Deduce itself has a lot of tutorials. So if you need to know more, there are many great videos on Deduce that you can look at. OK, so you can see here, once you, um, you're going to go to the Deduce um, D-E-D-O-O-S-E -O -O -E website, and you'll download the app. There's one for PC, there's one for Mac. Um, once you download it, you're gonna be over here. You're gonna first go over to projects all the way over on the right-hand side, and you are going to create a project. Um, I'm gonna go through and create one. I'm gonna call it example. When you create the project, this is the main page that comes up, and you're going to need to add your interview data or whatever other data you have. So here in this middle box, it says media. That's where you add data. You would click this plus button, and um, you can import all kinds of things. You notice you can do spreadsheets, images, audio. Um, I've coded images on this before, even video. But in many cases, the simplest thing to do is text. So in many cases, for many of you, you'll have um, text from interviews. I'm gonna just upload my syllabus. Some of you will be familiar with this syllabus um, as an example. And you can see it appear under media. So when I open this up, it pops up and we can start coding it, all right? So if, of course, your codes are going to be based on your research question, just like any qualitative coding procedure, your research question, your theory. So um, maybe we had a research question around use of equity and social justice in the syllabus, right? So um, I might select a piece of text. This is an excerpt, or um, there's other names for it, but essentially it's a piece of text. Saldana has a chapter on this like selecting pieces of text, how long they might be, how short they might be. Um, and then the way to make it into an excerpt is you click on this little quotation mark down here. So now it is my active excerpt, all right? But I don't have any codes. So I go over to this box right here and I'm gonna add a code, all right? And again, same thing with any qualitative research. Um, you might have codes that are deductive where you've already decided what they are from the literature, from theory, and you might have codes that are inductive that arise from the data. So um, let's see, I'm interested in equity and I read in this, students will begin to understand and critically analyze the use of qualitative data and educate, quantitative data in education. So there's an indication that maybe critical theory will be used here. So I'm gonna add a code and I'm going to put critical theory and I'm gonna submit it. And then the way it works, so I've got my, my excerpt up here and I'm going to just add that code over to the excerpt, just drag and drop. And now that excerpt has a code on it. Um, let's see, it says the course also focuses on survey-based evaluation research, including the practice and critique of survey design. Okay. Um, that doesn't have to do with my research question, so I'm not gonna make a remark on it. But I'm going to select the next piece of text here and um, I'm going to 
make it an excerpt. And this says, identify appropriate and inappropriate applications for quantitative analysis in everyday practice of education with special attention to equity and evaluation. So there's a reference to equity here. So I might put equity as one of my codes. Um, but I might also say, oops, that's a misspell. That's okay. I might also say, um, well, um, appropriate and inappropriate applications seems like kind of a um, that language is not exactly, you know, sort of an equity based or critical theory kind of a language, right? Because who decides what's appropriate? Who decides what's not appropriate? So um, I might have another code about um, language use. Right, so I can add that here. So I can actually add two codes to this excerpt. Um, and in fact, I could say that um, I'm going to weight this code, that I'm going to actually, um, I'm going to give a score to each use of language between one and, right? Now, when I go to submit language use as something that I'm coding, I go over here and I say, yeah, this is like a one, like appropriate and inappropriate are not, that's not really good use of language for the injustice, right? So I'm going to rate it low. So you can use rating as well. Um, so this is just kind of the basics of how to set up your, sometimes people enter all their codes first, sometimes they do it as they go along, how to set up and manage a data set. So now I'm gonna cut over to a project I have already going on and show you how it produces and looks at a lot of data. So this project is actually visual you can see on the main page now, I've got all my codes over here um, and I've got a lot of media uploaded. And this media is visual. So you can see where um, we've uploaded some pictures and then we've actually coded what's in the pictures. And you can even select pieces of the visual media to code. Um, then you can come over here to analyze and you can ask it to, you know, this can showcase, you know, some crossways um, understanding of your data, right? So for example, I labeled this data with um, descriptors. So with um, when this journal was created, right? This is the list. And so here you can see when one particular code was applied over time, in these journals, right? So cause and effect, which is a cross-cutting concept, when this uh, that particular cross-cutting concept was referred to in these journals. Now, another thing you do, can do, and I, this is an, yet another project, um, so it's got a bunch of media uploaded and it's got a bunch of codes over here. Um, when I'm ready to start talking about my codes and write them up, I can easily um, essentially export everything that I've coded with a particular code. So in this case, these are moves on the part of professional development facilitators. I click on this little quotation mark and the code says agency in implementation. So if I click on that, there are 18 excerpts that were coded with this across the data and I can export them. So um, there's a button where, here, where I can export these into a Word document or to an Excel document where I can read through and be like, what's, what's the collective, what can I say about this code, about agency and implementation? And maybe I can get a quote to put into my um, paper. Um, the other thing I can do is I can actually look through them right here. So um, if I click on this one, you can see how the excerpt comes up for me. 
and I can see everything it's been code with, coded with. So you can see it's agency and implementation. It's autonomy is the parent code for agency and implementation. So it automatically did that, which you can do if you want. And then I can look through this, like, well, what does this actually say about agency and implementation? I can click next and the next quotation will come up that has to do with agency and implementation. So um, that is just a very quick understanding of what you can do with deduce, is that once you code everything, you can upload all your codes. Once you code everything, you can have it spit out everything that you have coded with those ex with um, with that particular code, all the excerpts you've coded with that code, and you now have like a Word doc or something with everything categorized. Um, and you can start diving in more deeply in terms of writing up your findings. Um, the final thing here that you can do is you can also memo, which is something that we talk about a lot. So, um, for example, here's this. You know, if I open up one of the um, pieces. Um, I can click on this thing that says linked memos and I can create a new memo or I can link an existing memo. Um, so if I want to create a new memo, it, um, I might say something like, you know, this is, you know, shows how facilitators, oh wait, this is the title. So the title might be, um, new PD and then the memo is shows how facilitators, facilitators, and then whatever it is that I'm thinking about this media. I'm not going to save it. Um, I can also make memos for each of my codes by clicking this little icon. And same sort of thing. I can link an existing memo to a code or I can generate a new memo in terms of my thinking about that code. Okay, so that's just my quick tutorial. Um, I think it's it's mostly just to give you a sense of what you can do with deduce, and um, there's deeper tutorials if you need, you know, really explicit directions about each aspect.